Now to CTV's Ben Nesbitt live at the scene of the shooting in Coquitlam near the intersection of Glen Drive and Pine Tree Way. Ben, you've been there all day. What is the latest out there? Well, Mijung, as we saw, the procession has departed, but before that, it was a very chaotic, a sad, a heartbreaking day here. It all began around 10 o'clock when the K-9 unit, ERT, and dozens and dozens of officers fled to the scene here. And just a warning, or but to show you some video you might find disturbing. Paramedics stretchered somebody out of the building before appearing to attempt life-saving measures. Moments later, a man is seen being led away in handcuffs. The emergency response team, K-9 unit, and dozens of armed officers did fled, fled to the scene around 10. Police said the officers were executing a search warrant when an altercation broke out. The suspects and multiple officers were injured while Constable O'Brien was killed. Witnesses described the chaotic scene. We saw some officers with rifles, and then um, from behind us, an officer was limping. He had uh, uh, blood on his leg. This is a horrible day. It's uh, tragic, incredibly tragic. And uh, our community, our hearts go out to the family, to the friends, the co-workers, the colleagues of uh, an officer that went to work this morning, hoping to help for the whole day. and whose um, life and career were cut short. This afternoon, police members of the BC Coroner Service as well as the Independent Investigations Office stood around this ambulance, which was here since shortly after the incident happened before the procession took off. Now, the intersection here at Pine Tree and Glen was closed all day, but just in the last few minutes, it has reopened to vehicle traffic. The RCMP and the IIO are expected to be here on scene for several more hours. Mi Jung.